We're gonna be running a lot of the materials that Vibrant uh, Performance makes, of course. So we are back here at Central Hall. It's Art here from Vibrant Performance again. And I'm with a very good friend and a long-term partner, Ryan Turk, which some of you may recognize. And this year, Ryan brought this beautiful Toyota truck that he's been working on the past couple of months. So Ryan, what is this truck? What have you done? And kind of talk to us about like what the plans for it are. Yeah, so this is a 1966 Toyota Stout and I got a call when we were actually in the middle of building a Formula Super I got a call from TRD and they wanted me to do a project for them in Mobile One and, and it had to be a heritage project so uh, Dominic and I started doing some research and Dom actually found this 1966 Toyota Stout and, and uh, he's like basically like why don't we do a truck because I, I wanted to do an AE86 but it kind of like there's a few others out there so I kind of wanted to just keep going backwards and see what else was available and Dom found the stout we're like let's do a truck that's so, awesome uh, so that was kind of that idea and then we went down the rabbit hole of uh, you know it's going to be powered by a 3S a variation of a 3S GTE engine it's actually called the 3S 5S and uh, make about 6 650 at the wheels eventually um, and Kibbe teched it up. I wanted this project to be different and not have to feel like it had to top the Formula Supra in, in that sense. I wanted to this project to be something where I could learn new processes like uh, having a tube chassis that's built in CAD and, uh, and, and learning that whole situation and also um, John Sabal doing the body design and then having CNC molds cut that were absolutely perfect to the render that he originally sent me. So uh, it, it was really neat learning all these new processes. And, and it turned out very, very beautiful. Uh, so just going back to the drivetrain, uh, what kind of transmission do you have? Is this all-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive? So it's going to be uh, for drifting, so uh, rear-wheel drive, and we're running a Hollinger six-speed sequential trans, something that we've run in multiple other vehicles, including the Formula Supra. Uh, powered by a, three, uh, a Toyota 3S GTE four-cylinder built by uh, Brendan at PSI Racing down in Florida. So it's actually a little variation. So he runs, uh, his, his drag race program runs in uh, 86, 87 Toyota Celica NA head because it has really big port job. And then he runs the 5 SFE block, which is actually a 2.2 liter block out of a Toyota Camry. So that shares actually the same 3S family um, design. So you can run a different head package on it and that same transmission is going to bolt up, which is sweet. And I'm sure a lot of the purists are happy that you're keeping a four cylinder. Uh, yeah, for me, I want it to be like a light vehicle and to be able to transition and maneuver and just feel nimble. So. Um, I, a four cylinder was going to be going to be a plus. We're only making about six six fifty, so uh, four cylinder can easily get that done. Awesome. So let's talk about the turbocharged comp force induction components. Yep. Um, what what's the plan around that? So we're going to run a Garrett G Series G thirty seventy seventy turbo, and then uh, everything's going to be. So a lot of the vibrant. We're going to be running a lot of the materials that Vibrant uh, Performance makes, of course. Uh, running the HD clamps on the intercooler. We're going to have the titanium for the titanium exhaust, and we're also going to be using our new 321 stainless steel for all of the exhaust, uh, or sorry, the exhaust manifold and the anti-lag setup that's going to go on this thing. Uh, and just to kind of give our audience an idea, um, some people might know what 321 is. What's your reasoning for going with the 321? Uh, the 321 is strong, and it's light, and it's light, and it's, it's light, basically. It's, it can handle heat and it is uh, strong enough to carry a turbo. We, we've been running a 321 stainless steel manifold on our 2JZ package for a long time with no issues, knock on wood. And uh, it's just a lighter material. It looks a lot better and yeah, I think that it just looks dope. No, and that's awesome. We appreciate you using it and actually uh, passing along the message to your audience through your YouTube channel. Um, the last thing I'm going to ask is, uh, where can your audience follow the racing that you are drifting that you're going to be doing with the car? So yeah, just hit my YouTube channel at Ryan Turk. Uh, we have five uh, epi we have five build episodes out on this, with another one coming out this weekend, and we will be continuing on probably another four or five episodes to the completion of the truck. Awesome! Thanks so much, Ryan. Yeah, and as always, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Make sure you guys check out Ryan Turk's channel so you can watch the whole build process, all the 3D rendering, and the details of all the 321 and HD clamps that are going to come together. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. All right, take care.